Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to look at variables in Python. All right, let's get going. All right, so this is how variables work. The computer might ask, what's your name? And I might answer, Esteban. So the computer will store this information into a variable called name and then put it into its memory. So what variables do is they store information for later use. And you might ask, bloody heck, why am I doing this? The computer might get the names of all the students, save them all to memory, and then retrieve those names from memory when the computer wanted to print them out later. So one is storing information and using it for later. Two is that I can use variables as placeholders. And so for a real life example of this, we have the US Constitution. The US Constitution talks about the President of the United States. This is a placeholder for the President of the United States, whoever it happens to be at this particular moment. And why is this good? Well, it allows me to not have to rewrite the Constitution for each president. So I don't need a separate Constitution for Reagan. I don't need a separate Constitution for Obama. Whenever I see President of the United States in the Constitution, I'm going to substitute in the current President of the United States. So using variables as placeholders can be good when information changes or when it's variable. Here is the basic formula or syntax for how we use variables. I'm going to do variable is equal to a value. And the order is going to matter. The variable has to be on the left, and the value has to be on the right. You're setting the variable equal to the value. This will store this information into the computer's memory. And once I do that, I can use that information later. So for instance, I can print the variable, the value of the variable. I can print the value of the variable concatenated to another string. So I can join two strings together. You just did this in a previous lab. All right, so here's what it looks like live in action. I'm setting the variable feet is equal to one and printing it out. Next, I'm setting the variable yards is equal to feet times three. It's gonna take the value of feet, which is one. It's gonna times by three, and then it's gonna set yards equal to that. So yards will be equal to three. And if you look here on the right, I've written out what the values of the variables are. All right, so next I'll reset feet to 4.5. And when I print out feet, it says 4.5. But look, yards does not change. Yards is still three. Yards does not change until I set the value again. I'll say yards is equal to feet times three. Feet is 4.5 now, so 4.5 times three is 13.5. And when I print out yards, yards is 13.5. So this is a very standard use for variables. Here's another example. I'm gonna set my variable name is equal to Juanita, and then I'll print out variable plus a string. What does this print out? The value of name is Juanita, and it will print out Juanita is my best friend. All right, so here's a couple of classic errors people make with variables. The first, variables do not have quotation marks. So if I say feet, my variable feet is equal to one, and I print that out, that will be equal to one. If I print out feet in quotation marks, that is the string feet, and that will print out feet exactly. So again, no quotation marks around your variable. Okay, the second most common mistake people make with variables is it that use variables that do not exist. In this code right here, you can even see the red underline. It's telling me something is wrong. And when I run it, it says it's giving me what's called a runtime error. Specifically, it's a name error, but you're gonna have to know this if you're taking the EPCSP exam. It's an error that's following the rules of the code, but crashes after I run the code. And the error is that name person is not defined. And why is that? That's because I'm a dum-dum. Person is not a variable, it does not exist. So instead I should put name there and then this print will work. All right, so I'm gonna do the labs right now. They're not too hard, I promise. You should pause the video and give them a try. But if you get stuck, I'm gonna do the solutions right now. <clears throat> All right, so for the first one, we are gonna do the conversion of Celsius to Fahrenheit. So it's asking me to create a variable C and set it equal to any integer. So I create a variable by going C is equal to, I don't know, 500. And when I run this, that satisfies the first one. For the second part, I'm gonna create a variable f, and I'm gonna make it equal to 1.8 times c plus 32. So I'll do that in the next line. f is equal to 1.8 times c plus 32. I run it, and that works. For the last one, I wanna print the variable of f. That's a pretty straightforward one, print f. There's no quotation marks. That looks like it runs, and we are good. All right, the next one. The next one's a debugging one. In this one, we wanna print the variable fruit. This is pretty straightforward. Variables, no quotation marks. No quotation marks with the variable. So I get rid of the quotation marks. Quotation marks are hard coded to strings. Variables, no quotation marks. And when I do that, I'm printing the value of the variable, which is strawberries, and it's happy. For the last one, 
We're telling you right off, it's a mistake that's very common. You either typo or you forget what you named your variables. When I run it, I get an error. It's a name error, so this is a classic mistake. Usually you can see it right away. There is no variable called best fruit, and that is because I should not have typed best fruit. I should type fruit instead. And when I run it, it prints out cherries are the best, and the conditions are satisfied. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hope that was useful to you. And if it was, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.